at the central point of a cylindrical region. The two edges subtend at half angle theta at P as shown in the figure. When theta equals 30 degrees, then the electric flux to the curved surface of the cylinder is phi. Okay, so let us talk about electric flux a little bit. So this flux is the total flux is Q enclosed divided by epsilon naught okay and the total solid angle subtended is 4 pi now in this case here theta angle is there so therefore the flux through this can be calculated okay and also we have to you know double it because the same flux will be through this area also <clears throat> so uh, since the half angle is theta so therefore the solid angle is equal to omega is equal to 2 pi 1 minus cos theta so thus we can write that uh, the flux through you know the flat part is equal to q enclosed is q divided by epsilon naught into now since it is 4 uh, you know total solid angle is 4 pi so 1 by 4 pi into 2 pi 1 minus cos theta okay so this is due to this this flat part and this flat part so therefore we multiply it by 2 okay so now uh, we get it as 2 gone gone so this is basically q by epsilon naught 1 minus cos theta so therefore now when theta is equal to 30 degrees the flux through the flat part is equal to q by epsilon naught 1 minus cos 30 degree okay and therefore the flux through the curved part is going to be the total flux minus the flux through the flat part which is q by epsilon naught 1 minus cos 30 degree which is q by epsilon naught into cos 30 degree so therefore here also when phi is equal to 60 degree the flux through the curved part okay this is the this is for 60 degree this is equal to q by epsilon naught into cos of 60 degree so here it becomes q by epsilon naught into 1 by 2 and here it is q by epsilon naught into root 3 by 2 so therefore phi 30 degree divided by phi 60 degree is equal to now this is phi okay so this is phi and let us be x so this is equal to q by epsilon naught root 3 by 2 divided by q by epsilon naught into 1 by 2 gone gone this is root 3 so therefore x becomes phi upon root 3 okay so therefore the value of n is going to be 3 thank you